Welcome to this Creating Scenarios tutorial for the 2016 Mission on Mars Robot Challenge. The focus of this video is to show you how to organize the arena for your simulations in order to test the behavior of your algorithm in different environments. Everything regarding the setup of the arena is controlled by the Setup Arena app, which you can access from the project shortcuts. If you don't know how to retrieve the project, please watch the quick start guide to the 2016 Mission on Mars Robot Challenge. When you click the shortcut, the Setup Arena app will open. The image represents the 3x3m arena in which the Mars rover evolves. The robot is represented on the bottom left of the arena to indicate the starting point for each run since the robot will always start from this particular position. To start a new layout for the arena, click on the New button, then select the number of targets and obstacles you want in your arena. Let's say 2 targets and 3 obstacles. Remember the real obstacles will be cardboard boxes and the targets will be green dots on the arena floor. So obviously the red squares represent the obstacles and the green circles represent the targets. They are all stacked up when you create a new arena, but you can simply drag and drop them wherever you want. Let's put the obstacles in the corners and the targets in the center of the arena. Two important points about the placement of targets and obstacles. First, don't stack them the simulation wouldn't work properly. Second, during the finals, the targets will always be reachable and the rover will always have enough space to rotate on its axis while on a target without hitting any obstacle or the border of the arena. You can also add targets or obstacles once the arena is created by right-clicking on the arena and selecting Add Target or Add Obstacle. You can delete an existing obstacle or target as well by right-clicking on it and selecting Delete. Once you're satisfied, you can save your layout in a file by clicking on the toolbar button or using the menu. The important thing is that you need to save your layout as an M file in the default folder called Custom. Otherwise, it will not work. Two default scenarios are available in the Import menu. And you can of course open again your own scenarios by using the Open button or menu. Now before you run the simulation to try this new layout, you need to export it as the current scenario. To do that, simply click on the export button or use the corresponding menu. You can then open the simulation model by clicking the corresponding button in the toolbar and simply run your simulation. And you can verify that it is actually the scenario I created earlier as an example. So that's it for this tutorial, and for information, the next one will be on the navigation algorithm. Thank you.